answer lies in the heart of battle. In Leapfire! King of Iron Fist Tournament. Union TV versus Corner. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Hey guys, this is Mugen Lord here. And I know it's been a while since I did an episode of Mugen TV vs. Corner. But hey, I'm back again. I thought it was a perfect time to jump in it now is because we have just received a trailer of the new Melty Blood uh, Lumina that's coming out and is created by Arc System Works. So we're going to dive right into it. I want to give you guys my reaction to how I think and how I feel about the trailer. And just give you all my overall um, opinion about just Melty Blood in general and my relationship um, with the with the franchise. So let's dive right into it. And I've discovered this that there's a trailer out on Event Hubs, which I haven't been to any Event Hubs in like a really really long time. So we're gonna go to the site right here, and it looks like Lumina has got his first his first gameplay trailer. We get a chance to actually see uh, what this game has to offer. I know a lot of the Melty Blood. Uh, fans here is going to be super excited i know they've been waiting for a very long time so uh i guess before we even look at the trailer um they had gave us some descriptions here so i guess we can go check that out so it, so the trailer or the article states that melty blood type lumina received his first trailer we're in the realm of widescreen now boys i forgot all about um the aspect ratio of the original game so this definitely is going to be a newer more modern up-to-date melty blood so out of all the potential fighting game sequels that could have emerged now, Melty Blood was probably not near the top of most people's list, but the future is looking bright for those who are looking to get their anime on. So after unveiling Melty Blood type Lumina to the world last week, French Bread has now released the first trailer for the upcoming uh, game to see in all emotions. So I guess uh, this gives you a, a, a description of what the what's in the trailer. So I guess we can just look at the trailer right now and then, and then we'll go from there. So let's full screen this bad boy let's let's give it a go let's see let's see what this what this thing has to offer all right let's go okay um man the blue glass moon mixture of some anime and CG. One second. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, nice little teaser. Oh, 2021. PS4, Switch, and the Xbox One. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, this was just a teaser. Wasn't really expecting uh, for them to show off too much. All right. So, first of all, before I even get into it, uh, I just want to give you, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say, a brief, my brief knowledge of Melty Blood. And as far as my knowledge of Melty Blood, uh, I have very little knowledge of Melty Blood because I never knew what Melty Blood was, even as as a game. I thought it was some type of anime until uh, I got into Mugen. Mugen had pretty much, I guess you can say, uh, I guess you can say, uh, uh, exposed me um, to Melty Blood, and I, I think Mugen for a lot of um, my experiences or exposure to a lot of obscure or very niche um, anime fighters and just fighting games um, in general. I knew nothing about Melty Blood until I got into Mugen and downloaded um, uh, Lin, uh, what was it, Nayana, Sion, and a couple other characters that I was introduced to um, within Mugen. And in fact, Sion uh, and uh, Lin was on, were like the two characters that was added to my Mugen team um, back a few years ago. So as far as my knowledge is concerned, when it comes to Mugen, I knew, or when it comes to Melty Blood, I know very little of, of uh, Melty Blood. But for the simple fact is now that Arc System Works have pretty much essentially, essentially now, um, it's starting to become, I guess you could say, uh, a household name 
um, especially here in the United States. Many people are starting to, you know, know and recognize their work now. And it now seems like it's a perfect time for uh, our system works and French bread and many other uh, companies that were underneath the uh, our system uh, umbrella to now finally release some of their titles, some of the fighting game titles that they have never were able to get that exposure in the past. So look at the screenshots and everything. Um, you can tell it has more of that um, undernight um, in-birth um, look to it, which means they pretty much upgraded the sprites um, for more modern um, times and everything. Um, what would be really neat is if they eventually start to move a lot of their Arc System games um, over to you know 3D models. So maybe we can start seeing some more uh, up-to-date games or like I said if they want to keep that franchise to uh, 2d sprites but you know keep upgrading them upgrading them um, you know to fit more you know of the 4k um, generation or 4 4k visuals for get for these newer consoles and stuff but of course typical versus screens that most French bread or I guess you say arc system work games have nice anime style and stuff and i was always a fan of their artwork and their style and the way the uh you know uh the art styles of their characters and everything so this looked really 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 cool and this is going to be pretty much my first to be honest my first melty blood game definitely want to give it definitely want to give this game a try um shiki was another character that i used to try um in mugen um wasn't really my play style but i thought he was pretty cool because i love like the how they you know how well uh, designed and you know uh, and the resolution of, the, of his uh, character sprites and stuff like that and of course it was like we're gonna get probably get some story mode um, added into this as well so I'm definitely looking forward to, I'm definitely looking forward to this to actually play my first Melty Blood fan, uh, game and I know fans out there who uh, who've been dedicated um, to, Mel to Melty Blood for for years I know um, back in my locals at Temple University and other a couple of locals I used to play um, here in Philadelphia, I, I remember I used to see a lot of uh, gamers and a lot of fiends of Melty Blood used to gather around. They're out there having on this small ass laptop, and everybody would gather around and just get it in and and, and um, fiend on a uh, Melty Blood. And I was al always interested um, in giving the game a try, but I always sat back because when it comes to these type of niche games, especially from French Bread or just uh, Arc System in general, these games are so niche and like if you haven't really stepped into them like early on, because these are more like legacy type um, fighting games where you whatever knowledge you have from the past entry of the game, you can pretty much carry almost 100% of that knowledge knowledge over into the next entry that they uh, release um, in that franchise in that series. So uh, Melty Blood, Guilty Gear, uh, when, when it came to those Arc System work games, I pretty much was was intimidated by them. The, uh, the barrier to entry was pretty ridiculous because of that legacy knowledge for those who've been sticking around with the series for a very long time. So I used to get into these games and just get washed. I mean, get completely bodied and never really found players on my skill level in order for me to grow and actually get to learn. So everybody's pretty much combo fiends and everything in the game. So it kind of discouraged me uh, from really diving into it because essentially wasn't fun. You know, me being the beginner and everybody just just com combo, you know, touch, uh, I guess you could say touch of death combos and, and everything like that. So that's why when it came to Melty Blood, I had plenty of opportunities to play the originals, but I just never hopped, in, never hopped in on them because it was just too many good players and I really, really couldn't hang in there with anybody and not really understanding how the game, how the game works or not getting a chance to understand how the game works because I'm just that pressure and everything from good players. So I just stayed away from it. So now is their chance um now to pretty much uh put the game out there and expose it to a wider audience and i believe because of what's going on with uh dragon ball fighters this was arc system breakthrough um to get into the mainstream and because they did done such a great job and the fact is that dragon ball fighters in dragon ball franchise in general is such a worldwide name and everybody recognizes that brand so our system works to jump on that and create it for consoles has really put everybody and set everybody's eyes on our system works to whatever new games that they release in the near future and that was the perfect time for them to capitalize on that so having melty blood 
Lumina come out. Um, everybody's willing to give it a chance, especially if they play Dragon Ball Fighters and like what they've done with Dragon Ball Fighters. So a lot of people's gonna like to jump onto it. Now my question is, uh, speaking of Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters is also a game where um, it's been, I, I could just say, watered down just a bit to get newcomers in. So my question now is, will they pretty much simplify Melty Blood now that it's on the mainstream's eyes um, right about now? And will this will they water it down so or you know simplify it so we can get they can get more players on board to be able to try it so i guess that'd be a topic for another video um about simplification of fighting games and i definitely want to hear your thoughts on that but that pretty much wraps up this this video this reaction to uh melty blood um um lumina i definitely want to hear your thoughts is are you looking forward to this and do you see a future um for melty blood uh, for next generation consoles like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that. And are we experiencing or are we going to soon experience um, uh, our system works uh, fatigue or a burnout because of all of these new titles that they're announcing and just releasing back to back from one another? Definitely want to hear your thoughts on that. I did a video on that, but I still want to hear your thoughts in the comment sections below. So, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you follow me on Odyssey, hit the follow button. And if you want to be notified for more fighting game news or Melty Blood Lumina in the future, hit that notification bell to be notified. This is Mugen Lord signing off. See you game fiends later. Peace out.